Hello, my wonderful art students. Today, first grade, you're gonna be drawing a picture of anything you wanna draw, so you're gonna be doing a free draw. Second grade, you're gonna draw a picture of a cat juggling, and then you're gonna tell a story about your picture. And in case you don't know what juggling is, um, it's whenever you toss items in the air and keep them flowing at a balance um, in between your hands, and usually it's with three or more objects. So um, it'll be fun to see what you guys come up with as far as like what objects your cats are juggling. And then you're gonna draw a self-portrait third grade as three different people if they think it looks like you. So as you're drawing, your portrait think about um, what your different features look like what color are your eyes is your nose long or short or a little wide um, just really think if you need to look in a mirror that'll help you out um, to see what you look like and then fourth grade you guys are going to be drawing a self portrait and ask two other people if they think it looks like you so third and fourth again you're kind of doing a similar project and then fifth grade you're gonna draw a self portrait and tell someone to close their eyes and describe your picture to them so so um, in that case, you're trying to see if they can guess that it's you or if they think that it looks like you just based off of your um, verbal description. Let's go ahead and get started. Today's date is April 3rd, 2020. Everything we're drawing is listed on our left hand side. Remember first grade, you are doing a free draw. If you wanna draw what we're doing, great. If not, you can draw what you want to. Second grade, we're gonna start off by drawing a juggling cat. I like to use characters you're familiar with. Today's cat is going to be Pete the Cat. You're gonna start by drawing two lines that are almost straight. They have just a little bit of a curve to them and they need to be the same height. You'll draw two angled lines down towards each other, but there's still gonna be a big gap that you're gonna connect with a very light arch. Next, we're gonna draw Pete's jaw and chin. It comes to a curved point in the middle. When you draw Pete's eyes, you wanna try and keep them even. So we're gonna start out by drawing some spacing dots. There are two dots in the middle with a little space in between them and then two dots on the side and then you connect them with a light arch. When I say light arch, I mean that it's not like a rainbow. It's more spread out like a bridge. Now we're gonna connect the corners of Pete's eyes. We want to mark where the curve is gonna go through. Start at one corner, curve it to the mark, and then the other corner and check and see if you like it. If you don't, you can erase and try again. As for me, I felt like I needed for mine to be a deeper curve. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Do your best to keep them even. If they're not perfect, that's okay. Just do your best. Our next step is to draw the iris in Pete's eyes and then the pupil. For Pete's nose, it's gonna be an upside down triangle. The corners of the triangle are curved though. You can leave it empty or if you wanna put little nostrils in, you can do that. We're gonna move on to Pete's body. The style of his body is very specific. Two lines start out his neck and the rest of his body reminds me of a curved triangle. You'll draw two lines that slant down and then extend them a little bit longer for his legs. You'll draw the inside of his thighs. He has skinny legs. And then we're gonna put an oval that doesn't connect at the end of his legs because that's gonna be where his shoes start. As you continue to draw the shoes, draw two lines down from the inside part of your oval and then draw a line on the other side of your oval as if you were starting a cylinder. You'll draw two curved lines out and then add a curved line for the toe at the end of them. Then you'll connect the toe to the heel with a smile or a light curved line. The soles of the shoes will have two lines that go down on each shoe and then you'll connect that with a smile. That should run parallel to the first line you did. Remember parallel means it runs side by side. We'll draw the curved part of the toe. And at the top of your shoe, we're gonna draw a little baby arch for the tongue of your shoe. 
and then you continue that line down and it runs parallel to the line you drew for the first part of the shoe on both sides. We're gonna draw the circles where the laces go through. And then to make the laces, you're gonna arch over, it's kind of a hook shape, you're gonna arch over the shoe. That makes them look three-dimensional. The next thing we're gonna draw are Pete's arms. Since he's juggling, we want his arms to be up in the air. You'll start by drawing two diagonal lines out on each side. Try to make them about the same length. You'll draw another line next to your first lines that are sticking out of his body. As it goes towards the elbow, it gets a little bit smaller, just a little bit. Pete's paws will be two ovals that connect to his wrists. Finish his paws by adding three curved lines to each side. Next, you'll erase the lines where his arms connect to his body. I just realized that we forgot to give Pete his whiskers, so let's go ahead and draw four on each side. Since Pete will be juggling, Let's sketch a very light arch over the top of his head to show the path of what he's juggling. You'll end up erasing this line, so make sure it's light enough to erase. I'm gonna have my Pete juggling planets. Placing motion lines in between what Pete is juggling can help to show the direction that the objects are traveling. Finally, I'm going to add a ring to each of my planets. Just for fun, since I have a space theme, I'm gonna put a rocket beside Pete. I'm going to build it simply by placing a triangle on top of a rectangle give it some thinner triangles for its fins, and then add some flames at the bottom. All right, third, fourth, and fifth grade, we are drawing self-portraits with each of you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Remember, there are several different types of face shapes. You have a square face shape with round edges, oval, round, kind of a heart shape, and then finally one that's more pointed. My face shape is an oval. I don't want it to look weird with my head by peach shoes, so I'm gonna draw a platform for him to stand on. There are several different types of hair textures as well. Straight hair, curly hair with ringlets, curly hair that's kind of poofy looking, wavy hair, long curls, really long poofy hair, short spiky hair, short fluffy hair. There are so many different kinds of hair. At the moment, I have short straight hair. Remember, mirrors can be very helpful when you're drawing a self-portrait because it allows you to see your details of your face and body.
I always like to start out by finding the shape of the hair and then go back and add texture to it. Before you draw the eyes, nose, and mouth, you can draw light lines across your face to show where they need to be. Right now, my person looks angry, but I'm gonna change that. On the line that's the highest up, you're gonna draw two circles for the eyes and then draw arches over them. Your arches should cut into your circle just a little bit so your eyes don't look like they're popping too much. I'm gonna arch the eyebrow over the eye and then draw the pupils. If you make a mistake, try again. Drawing takes practice. For the nose, you'll draw the letter U and then a C and a backward C for the wings of your nose. The wing is the part over your nostril. If you mess up like Miss Spillman did, just erase and try again. Next, you'll draw two light lines for the bridge of your nose. The bottom line is for your lips. The line represents the middle part of your lines where your bottom and top lip touch. When I started drawing my lips, I noticed they were very low on my face and that I needed to move my line up. I also noticed that my nose was pretty short, so I ended up erasing it and trying again as well. Instead of editing out my mistake, I decided to keep it, so that way you could see how I worked through it. My ears are covered by my hair, but if you're drawing ears, here are a few ways you can approach them. You can start by drawing the letter C and then a backward C. You could draw one that's got a little bit of a wave to it and then do the opposite side the same way. You can also do a stretched out C. If you wear glasses, make sure you add those details in. My self-portrait is towards the bottom of the page because Pete was so big. If yours is not at the bottom and you have room for a body, please feel free to add it. Whenever you draw a self-portrait, it's about you. Not just how you look, but it could also be things that you like. So if you wanna add details to your work, like favorite shapes, food, color, um, different video games you're interested in, then that's gonna be a clue as to the kind of person you are. So please feel free to add those in. Thank you for drawing with me today. I wish you well, my wonderful art students.